Hey there, everybody. Listen, I'm starting to think it might be a good idea to start coming out of my house with something a little warmer to wear because the days are getting a bit colder. Not, you know, nothing too uh, serious. I mean, I'm looking up, up, up right now, not seeing a single cloud in the sky. Still not a very good thing, especially for a month of like October, but you know, it's getting colder. Definitely starting to feel the uh, colder uh, winds uh, coming my way. And uh, well, I should probably start considering uh, changing my dress code for these uh, videos going forward. But anyways, uh, yeah. Those of you who watched yesterday's episode, yesterday I talked about Deerling and Salzbox, some of my favorite Pokemon that I don't think are getting the uh, the right attention uh, that they deserve. I mean, I think these Pokemon are tragically underrated and overlooked. But, uh, hey, some people like what they like, I suppose. But, on the bright side, hopefully... Now that they're going to be added to uh, Pokemon Go, maybe finally people are going to start to uh, recognize them a little more. I mean, normal grass is a very rare type combination. I believe it, those are the only two Pokemon that have th that type of uh, uh, unique combination. I'll probably change my roster. Definitely going to keep Rhyperior at first, and then maybe Shiny Dose. And, um, uh, how about Vaporeon? Yeah, that's good. Okay, I'm pretty sure that, um, Rhyperior is going to, uh, handle business on its own, but we shall see. In any case, in addition to, um, um, Saucebuck and Deerling, I have heard from somebody that apparently... Shiny Vulpix will also be available soon, so that's kind of nice, very neat. I mean, I'm not really a big, huge fan of Vulpix or Ninetales for that matter. I don't understand why people have a huge, tremendous love and appreciation for these two Pokemon. I've never really been a fan of those. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I just think that there are so many other better fire types in Kanto, like a Ponyta and Rapidash, Magmar, obviously my favorite Pokemon of all time, Charizard. So maybe I just never really gravitated to those two Pokemon, and uh, well, come to think of it, I never actually really needed a strong grass type. I saw a strong uh, fire type in any Kanto playthrough. Never actually relied on any of these two Pokemon, but uh, yeah. Like I said earlier, everyone loves what they love, I suppose. I mean, I love Saucebuck and Deerling. Uh, I'm very excited to get them in, uh, in this game. A lot of people just really don't, don't like this Pokemon. And on the other hand, a lot of people love Vulpix and Ninetales. They can't wait to get a shiny of those two Pokemon in this game. Meanwhile, I'm standing here saying that I couldn't care less about those two, so... It all balances out, I suppose. In any case, uh, I did get a little. Uh, uh, I did get a message a second ago from uh, Niantic. Apparently, Niantic is celebrating its fifth uh, anniversary, which is kind of cool. Hold on. Kind of wanted to drop them off their uh, their little scooters just to see what happened, but. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not that kind of person. Hold on. Nope. Nope. I'm not leaving a Metagross here. Have an Aggron. An Aggron would be uh, nice and productive. Whoa. I didn't know Aggron was that much bigger than Tyranitar. That's weird. Oh yeah, I already spun this thing. Anyway, let's get out of this. Way too many people in here. Just let me catch this Rolls first. Because I need to... Uh, I have this 
sort of mission to do uh to catch 30 fire types and 30 psychic types not really sure how i'm going to manage that see the thing is i don't know whose idea was this but right now after, right after they introduced this new uh mission where you have to catch 30 fire types and 30 water types uh, 30 uh psychic types i mean suddenly all most of the fire types are gone you can barely even find them now. The only, the only psychic type that is remotely uh, common right now is Rolts. And even then, and even then, I mean, you don't really see a lot of Rolts Rolzing around. <laughs> I just made up a term: Rolzing around. Get it? Because they're like Rolzing around, but they're Rolzing around. That's funny. Laugh. Anyways, so yeah, unfortunately, not much in the psychic or the fire type department. I have seen a lot of, uh, another one? I have seen a lot of, uh, ball trace raids, but nobody's really, uh, nobody really wants to challenge ball trace for some reason. Kick, 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 kick. Why a Rhyperior? I don't need a Rhyperior. I'd say, hmm. I mean, Dark and I'm pretty much gonna take out all of them by its, on its own, so there really is no reason to take any other one with me. In any case, well, this Miss Grievous is unusually bulky. One of these days, I gotta look up Miss Grievous' stats some reason even though it's weak to dark my dark and i barely manages to uh do any meaningful damage to it and on the flip side as you'll see in just a second hold on once i beat this name is previous he sends out oh he's sen sending a dust clock that wasn't what i was expecting but usually after um, as Grievous sends out um, a Sableye, which is neutral to dark type because it's a uh, ghost and dark, a very dangerous type combination. But um, yeah, for some reason the Sableye uh, takes more damage from uh, my Dark and Iron's dark type attack. Okay, he didn't use a Sableye at all, so well. There goes my, uh, demonstration. And even then, for some reason this Dusk Noir is taking more damage than the, than the uh, um, Miss Rebus. Or maybe it isn't. I don't know, I haven't actually looked it up. I need to check, to check out the, uh, the stats, just as they've mentioned. Anyways, that's this guy down. Let's, uh, keep moving on. Yes, yes, I won, I won. Now give me the give me the prizes, you stupid thing. Wait. Okay. I'm sorry. I guess I shouldn't have said that. Moving on. Give you some shiny. Okay. Never mind. And it's going to be a bit of a tricky one. Not to worry, I'm pretty sure. Yep, I got it. Nice and easy. Okay, so let's check out this news article from uh, uh, Niantic. I'm not seeing any uh, Pokemon worth catching. Well, let's just put a Pokemon in this gym and move on. Okay. Also took some time to heal up all the Pokemon that I should have, but didn't. So uh, I've got plenty of Pokemon that I can put in this uh, in these gyms now. All right, let's go to the news. I said let's go to the news. Okay, celebrate Niantic's fifth birthday with a special event. 
Happy, happy birthday, Niantic. Niantic Labs. I didn't... Uh, is that the full name of Niantic? I didn't know that. Okay. Happy birthday, Ni happy birthday Niantic Labs. In celebration of Niantic's birthday in just a few days. Okay, so not, not quite yet. Um, you'll be able to enjoy limited time bonuses and exclusive timed research. Okay. Date plus time, blah, blah, blah. October 4th. Isn't that today? Nope. It's tomorrow. Oh, it says Sunday. Stupid me. Okay, never mind. So tomorrow, features. Okay. Complete the Niantic birthday event. Birthday timed event. Um, re timed research doing, during the event. The event period. Sorry, there's a crack on the screen. I have to keep mentioning that because you guys, people can't really see that. Um, uh, to receive an incense, an egg incubator, a lucky egg, a fast TM, a charge TM, and a star piece. A lot of re nice rewards. Okay. Team Go Rocket balloons will be appearing more often than usual. Okay, so that, that explains why there, I just found two balloons just now. Bonuses, uh, double the lucky egg duration, double the star piece duration, double, double catch XP, double hatch XP, that's great. Nothing about evolving XP, but never mind. Uh, Halftime hatch distance for eggs placed in incubators during the event. Uh, to kick off the celebrations, a one Pokecoin Niantic birthday event box featuring 30 Ultra Balls will be available in the shop. I don't need that, so I'm not gonna spend uh, my precious one coin on that. Celebrate Niantic's fifth birthday with us. Okay, when it, whatever. It, Okay, that's where the cracks really start to get annoying. Uh, whether you've been playing Niantic games for from the be very beginning or started with Pokemon Go, there's much to enjoy during the Niantic birthday event. Let's go. Okay. Cool. So, uh, happy birthday, Niantic. Just wanted to uh, uh, be the first on the bottom to say, say that. Okay, looks like it hatched an egg, which is one of the uh, the stuff I need to do. Okay, let's just hope it's a fire type because for some reason those are pretty hard to come by these days. No, it's an Eevee, but still very good. Okay, let's put another egg. Hopefully a one kilometer egg. Oh no, wait, they're back, they're back to being uh, two kilometer eggs, right? Yep, two kilometer eggs. Yeah, that's a bit unfortunate, but fear not. I wonder why Cockney's back. And the uh, Cockney Rimticard event are relatively recent, so there's really no reason to bring them back, but I mean, hey, Niantic does what Niantic wants to do, I suppose. By the way, I did see a couple of weird looking. Okay, th there's the Ralts. Gotta catch a Walt, and there's that stupid Krogonk with the hat on its head, which ties in perfectly to what I was about to say. Uh, I did catch one last night, but uh, off camera, obviously. But um, as I was about to mention, let's see if it's still there. Okay, he's still there, or maybe she. I don't know. Can never really tell. There's a very weird gender difference with these things. I mean, not weird, it makes sense for the Pokemon, but it's hard to see. It's the uh, the white lines on their uh, chest area are longer on the males, I think. Maybe it's the other way around. It's a female. Okay, never mind. So, uh, yeah, I did manage to catch one of these. I don't think I gave you guys a good, good enough look yesterday, but I did catch one of these yesterday. It's it's basic it's it's a basic Krogonk with a black baseball cap on its head. See? Now I I did see earlier there's a raid for uh, um oh look there's another one. There's a raid for uh Curlia with a top hat and a bow tie. Which is kind of a, kind of fun. Again, doesn't really say much to me. I don't really like these um event Pokemon. That the only thing special about them is that they're wearing clothes. 
uh, human clothes that is but uh, yeah you can't evolve them and they're always going to have a maximum uh, CP that you can never actually uh, uh, cross so what's the point of even having them I don't get it still they're kind of cute I guess and they're a collectible and uh, Pokemon for a lot of people is nothing more than just a collectible so I'm collecting them Blitzel is a very is a pretty rare Pokemon that you don't really get to see a lot in the wild and even when you do, it's very hard to catch. So, let's try again. Anyways, I don't really think I have anything too special to talk about today. I mean, yesterday... Dang it. Yesterday, uh, we had some stuff to talk about with the dealing and sauce block, which I can't wait to see how they're going to look like in this game. kind of wish they'd... they'd they would have added them to a uh, sword and shield. Haven't done that yet, but hey, we're gonna see them eventually. I'm pretty sure of it. Later this month is when the uh, the Crown Tundra DLC event uh, is going to be uh, released, and uh, maybe we can see them there. Maybe we can finally see the uh, Nintendo Switch versions of Dueling and Sasbuck. I'm very curious to see how they're going to handle the uh, um, multiple forms. I'm definitely going to try to uh, um, change my Nintendo Switch uh, internal clock just to get all of the uh, the different forms of Dueling and Sasbuck. That should be kind of nice. But uh, yeah. Should be pretty nice, as I would say. In any case, um, see what I was hoping would happen today was that by now I'll find enough fire types and psychic types to move on to the next part of the mission. But unfortunately, not only I haven't found enough to move on to the next part of the mission, I also kind of completely forgot that I need to hatch three eggs. To um, also advance to the next part of the mission. So yeah, a little bit of a minor detail that I probably should have uh, written down. But hey, win some, you lose some, I suppose. Like I said, at least yesterday we had enough uh, material to make a full episode out of. But today, I'm not so sure. Also. Um, did kind of have a late start today, but it's not for the usual reasons. It's not because I uh, overslept or anything like that. It's mostly because I uh, did some work on something earlier today. Something that should be turned into a video sometime soon. Just not really sure when am I going to have the time for it. But see, the thing is, since this whole pandemic slash lockdown slash unemployment on my end I kind of feel like my uh, my channel really took a massive massive hit I mean there are no movies to go out and, and watch so I can't review movies on my channel and as such there are less trailers I mean there are still trailers for movies and TV shows and video games every once in a while but not nearly as much as there used to be and I mean on top of that I kind of kind of lost my uh, my appetite for uh, the types of videos that I used to make you know the music videos I suppose I will return I will go back to making them eventually once I'll get the uh, urge to do them but right now I don't know. Right now, I'm not really feeling it. But hey, it's just a temporary slump, I know. And uh, things will get better. Things will get better pretty soon. Um, 
certainly right now uh by at this time at this point uh we're we as a human race are that much closer to a covid vaccine than we were let's say six months ago or eight months ago when when we thought this whole covid 19 was nothing too serious nothing to be nothing to get too excited about and everybody took this thing for granted and uh back when movie theaters were still uh up, fully operational and stuff so uh yeah i'd say we're getting pretty close to a vaccine uh, i'm not gonna try to predict when we might get to have one i mean sure it's, like i said we're closer than we were but i mean it's not gonna take us maybe four months at, at the earliest before we can uh, even start to uh, think of the idea of uh, a usable vaccine. Uh, but I mean, I didn't want to do this, I didn't want to get into politics, but President Trump, one of the, one of the uh, figures that was heavily leading the, uh, this notion that this whole uh, COVID 19 is a hoax and he said he was one of the prominent figures that didn't really took this thing too seriously and uh, He scoffed at the idea of wearing masks and said this whole thing is fake, you know That sort of BS Well, Irony is a cool friend my is a cool thing my friends because He got it him and his wife and obviously I wish them I wish that they could I wish them a healthy and speedy recovery. I don't want anyone else to uh, uh, fall victim to this, to this terrible disease, but I mean, I think just the fact that he got it and it was mostly because he didn't take this thing too seriously and uh, he kept telling his people to uh, not take it too seriously either and not wear masks and stuff. Then that's kind of the, one of the main reasons why he got it in the first place. So, my whole thing is, I think, I hope, at least, that him getting the disease and uh, receiving treatment for it is going to change the perception that a lot of people have uh, regarding this disease. That's just, you know, a pipe dream, I suppose. That's wishful thinking, maybe. But, yeah, who knows? At this point, who knows, really? All I can do is just sit back, keep keep soldiering on, keep doing my channel and stuff, and uh, hopefully maybe someday uh, things will get back to normal. I mean, hey, movie theaters around here in this country were very close to reopening a couple of times, four or five times by my count, so uh, hey. Maybe after this well, this uh, second lockdown, maybe things will go back to uh, to normal, or at least something that resembles normalcy. I mean, I've been looking at the numbers, and uh, the number the, the number of new cases per day has been dropping since the lockdown started. But I mean, it doesn't really say much because the numbers of new the number of new cases per day. Uh, before the second lockdown were astronomical uh, by this country's standards especially compared to what it used to be uh, during the first lockdown so who knows the numbers are looking looking better but I'm getting a strange feeling that the reason why uh, we're seeing less COVID cases is because less people are testing for COVID so maybe that's Part of the reason i don't know i don't know what to believe anymore all i know is the number of uh covid cases are dropping slowly but they are so who knows maybe by this time next month um things will get better and maybe uh maybe you can actually start 
looking towards the future. As you see, I had a lot of plans for my for my channel. I, to be honest with you, before I got fired, I was planning on on, getting, on quitting anyway, or getting myself fired anyways, because I've already had enough of that paid job. And to be honest, oops, gotta catch a roll. A roll, see. To be honest, I I, I thought that place where I used to work. I think that place ran its course and there was nothing else I could give to that to that place anymore. Nothing left I could uh, learn from that place anymore and I already felt it was time to move on. I just, I just I hoped that you know this being the time of COVID uh, Um, I was uh, I, I was hoping to at least make up make it till the end of the of this year over there and then quit or uh, get fired. But unfortunately, that didn't happen and uh, kind of threw a huge wrench into my plans. But I mean, I've bounced back from uh, worse situations, I suppose. So, uh, yeah, I was hoping that by the time I do quit, uh, things will be relatively back to normal and uh, I could, you know, go back to doing what I used to do uh, back when movie theaters were open and, you know, watch movies. But, obviously, we're still not living in that world, so I, I have to wait couple more months for that it's okay I'm patient but uh, yeah I'd really appreciate it if you can just move on to the next part of life who knows what that'll be well, anyways uh, I just got a little deep let's change my glasses Much better. Sun is already down. So uh, yeah, see the reason why I'm uh, going. Well, the reason why I'm still going is I've noticed that there's this uh, empty gym over there that nobody's even bothered to uh, try to occupy. So I'm gonna try to occupy that place myself. And uh, I think that's about enough for one episode. Yep, almost half an hour. It's a pretty. Uh, respectable uh, length for an episode of this caliber so especially since there's, there wasn't anything to talk about so I just ran with the conversation so anyways um, that's all I have to say for now and uh, see you guys tomorrow for the uh, birthday celebration of uh, Niantic Goodbye for now. Hello again everybody! I really hope you enjoyed this video, cause I really enjoyed making it. So if you like what you've seen here, please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more awesome content like this. So until next time guys, I'll see you guys next time.